Good day, my name is Leon, and today I'm wanting to show you our new integration with Greatsoft. Uh, in the past, you would need to export the Greatsoft into an Excel file and then re-upload it on the on the uh, Greatsoft side, but we now do have direct connection available to the Greatsoft online application. Uh, if you go to the Taxation tab, you'll see this now that option available on the far left. The process runs exactly the same as the past. You need to go and complete the ITR 14, um, either directly uh, inserting the addbacks and deductions or by preference using the tax calc to indicate all the addbacks and deductions and then making such manual changes as necessary to incorporate the requirements of the tax return in the blue cells in the relevant entity size. Once that is done, you can click on the export to Greatsoft button and you'll see I'm getting a warning that there is no tax information for this client under company setup. What this means is that you have not yet inserted the correct tax number or any tax number into this file. So you'd need to go to your client setup and uh, we can use the search function to easily find the tax number field and insert the correct tax number. Please make 100% sure that you are inserting the, tax, the correct tax number, otherwise you're obviously not going to link to the correct company. Once that's done, I can go back to my financial statements, go to the taxation tab, and let's try the export again. This pop-up will then come in. Uh, once you've completed these details, they will be saved, but please get in touch with Greatsoft to confirm what URL and what login you need to use in order to activate this feature for your firm. And just a reminder, it is only available at this stage for the online versions of Greatsoft. It does then confirm the tax number, the entity size, and uh, I can then click on Export to Greatsoft. You'll then get a confirmation, and it is going to confirm the client code and company name as it is sitting on the server. If you are satisfied that that information and that, that connection is correct, you can click Yes. And if all the information is correct, the pop-up will come that you are done. Okay, so that's that's the easy part. That's when things work well. Okay, what could potentially go wrong? Well, first and foremost, as you should know and be aware, you cannot insert negative numbers on a tax return. And so, for argument's sake, and obviously this is wrong, <laughs> Please don't copy me. Uh, if you've got a negative value somewhere in the file and you click on that export to Greatsoft button, it is going to pop up this error to indicate that somewhere on the submission there is a negative value being uploaded. You will then need to work through and make sure where these negative values are to go and determine how to proceed to go and fix those negatives. Please, no negatives on the ITR 14 sheet. The way the values carry over from the tax calc sheet to the ITR 14 and how we've developed the formulas. As far as possible, we are, are making sure that there are no negatives. But if you are sitting with negatives somewhere, uh, please go and have a look at why and where in order to correct those and get them into positive values. Okay. You will also know that in the tax calc, there is the ability to use the drop down to change the entity size. if for, for any reason you disagree with our classification in accordance with this formula. However, if you do so, please be aware that Greatsoft also does a validation of the information it is receiving. So if I, with this medium to large company, try to export, I once again get the confirmation, and it is now giving me a verification error. And the message we're receiving from Greatsoft is that this is a medium to large business and based on your gross income and total assets. So it's, it's basically warning you with exactly the same as the, the drop down is intended to do. It's trying to measure whether this is a, uh, or what entity size this is, and it's finding that it mismatches between these two. Another potential issue you might find is if this pops up, it means that the system cannot find a match to the tax number that you've entered in the system. Therefore, you will need to go back to Gradesoft and verify what the correct tax number is going to be for your client. Once the upload is complete, you can obviously go and verify that the taxable uh, income that you've calculated matches 
in Gradsoft, what you calculated in DraftWorks. And if you're happy, then you can proceed with answering the remaining questions and submitting your tax return. If you are having any problems, please get in touch with our support team. We'll gladly assist you and uh, hope you enjoy the new feature. Thanks very much for your time. Goodbye.